Knock Knock Yitzhak with the XP Realty. We're going to be talking about credit today. How's it going, everybody? My name is Dennis from Credit Royalty. Here to help you with all of your credit needs, credit repair, credit restoration, and credit rehabilitation. Okay, so why is credit important when you're looking to get into a home or an apartment or anything like that? So pretty much with credit, um, lenders look at your history of repaying debts and they look at your history of how you handle um, any kind of things you get loans for. For example, like if you get a car, they look to see your on-time payments. If you have a credit card, they look to see how you manage that money that they allowed you to borrow. And over time, when, with pretty much pattern recognition, they're able to uh, build up a trust with the bank. It's kind of like if you go to a friend and you borrow $10 and then you pay him back $10 and then um, you ask him for $10 again. Get it? You pay back $10. Then you might ask him for $20. He might be willing to allow you to borrow that $20 because you've shown a pattern of paying back the 10 But when you're, going to, when you're getting into real estate and things like that, if you don't have a pattern of borrowing $10 and then all of a sudden you go to a bank and you ask for $100, it's a little bit harder for them to trust you with that amount. So it's good to build up your credit over time, show pattern recognition that banks can understand like, hey, this guy is likely to pay back this loan. Yeah, definitely. And what is a, a good credit score for looking to purchase a home? So, um, like you were saying, like we were saying a little bit off camera, six twenty is really that sweet spot. I know a lot of lenders like to talk about five eighty. Now, what's really difficult about getting a loan with a five eighty is that usually you have a five eighty for a reason. Yeah. So it's because you have negative items on your credit report, like collections, charge offs. Uh, you have late payments, things like that will kind of keep you in that 580 range. But sometimes it doesn't mean that. Sometimes you have like high utilization mm -hmm. and that can drop you down into the 580 range, which also shows banks that you're not good at paying back the amount of loan that they gave you um, in, a, in, a, in a short period yeah. of time. Yeah. So it messes up your debt to income ratio, like a lot. So um, you want to be more in that 620 range, which kind of shows a bank that maybe you're new to credit you might have one credit card, perhaps no like negative items that's on there, but really like people with thin files, they have six twenties, six eighty will get you into that next range to uh, kind of qualify for a better loan. Um, the best rates that you're going to see in purchasing a home are going to be in that seven sixty to seven eighty range, okay. and then anything above that, you know, you'll you'll get the best the best terms out. There. Okay, so if someone doesn't have the best credit, how do you help them improve their credit score? So I do a free consultation with all of my clients. And we get on the phone and I break down the credit score with them mm -hmm. piece by piece because not everybody with um, a poor credit score needs credit repair. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying before, sometimes it's a utilization thing and I've had clients come to me with 580 credit scores, nothing negative on their credit report, but they have a maxed out credit card. Maybe that credit card is $300. I tell them to just pay down the credit card and they might have 200 points locked up in that mm -hmm. utilization. But if somebody does need our services, what we do is we um, dispute the negative items on their credit report and we take a really aggressive approach to that dispute. So we go in and we dispute item by item all at the same time and try to get as much negative off as we can. Then the next step after that is we try to negotiate any kind of pay for deletions or things like that with like different charge offs. And a charge off is when like a, a company will deem a account that you have as uncollectible. Okay. So they just write it off completely and usually get paid out by insurance. So those accounts are harder to get off and if you were to like do a negotiation or maybe like a settlement in exchange for a deletion, sometimes we can get those off. And then um, really just like restructuring the overall credit report because a lot of people, uh, like the average person, when they look at a credit score, that's all they're looking at is the actual mm -hmm. three numbers. But the three numbers is the last thing I look at. Okay. Somebody who fixes credit because the three numbers can be really deceptive. Someone can have a 750 credit score, but they might have an authorized user. So maybe like a grandparent added them okay. onto a credit card they don't have their own credit. Yeah. So that 750 is not a legit 750. It's like a, a manufactured um, 750. So we like to have people build out their entire credit profile to where it looks attractive to lenders that are okay. you know, offering them loans. Wow, 
that's really great information. Thank you, Dennis. Yeah. Well, thank you for explaining a little bit more about how you help your clients improve their credit. Um, if anybody watching needs some help with their credit, how would they get in touch with you? So the best way to get in touch with us is to go to creditroyalty.co. And on creditroyalty.co, there'll be a pop-up to book a free consultation with us. And each consultation, you'll leave with value. I like to explain to my clients, even if they don't choose our service, I like to explain to them how they can improve their, their credit report. I hope all of y'all got a lot of great value out of that. I'll see you next week. Thank you, Dennis. Definitely.